Hi, welcome back to Four More Minutes. I am Sam Bailey, the soul stir, stirring up your hearts and your minds for God. I want to thank you for joining and listening in today. Whether you are a returning listener and subscriber or a first time listener, we are equally appreciative to you and for your support today. If you can, please subscribe to the Soul Stir on YouTube and you'll receive notification when these messages come on and you can be a part of putting inspiration and encouragement out into the world. And if you can, please share this with about 15 to 20 people today. It would be greatly appreciated. Appreciate it. Today I want to talk about, I see, see a door behind me and I'm constantly thinking about doors. We are indoors and out of doors. Doors provide access. Doors are a boundary. They say you come this far but no further. The doors are, are keys and instruments and a lot of people look at what the Word says and you know how the Word talks about uh, the, the Lord said, if you seek, you'll find. If you knock, the door is going to be open. Sometimes we find ourselves in life knocking on doors that are shut and doors that aren't for us. And so we, we garner or gain a lot of frustration because, again, we have location frustration. We are trying to find success in a place that's not for us or open a door we don't have a key to, open a door that's not purpose for us. I believe that every door that God has for me, I won't have to continue to bang on it and, and ask somebody to give me access to a place that I don't belong. And sometimes God is trying to protect us from our own good, but we're just so ambitious and we have everything worked out in our minds as to how it's supposed to be and the way it's supposed to be and in the fashion that, it, that I thought it was or how I imagined it to be. But a lot of times the blessings of God don't come wrapped up in our expectations or they don't come to us laid out. We don't see the entire picture. They come not in terms of a home run, right? One big swing, you round the bases. Sometimes it comes in the form of a single. You just go to first base, and then you move to second base, and then you go to third base, one step, one day, one moment at a time, day by day. And so I wanna encourage you to, to, to stop trying to break into locked doors. Stop trying to bang on locked doors, and the door that God has for you Will, will access, you will be able to access it. It'll open for you. And, and you know, there's a, what's behind door number one, what's behind door number two, what's behind, and sometimes, you know, be careful when you force your way in, because some doors you can force your way in and you'll find yourself crying your way out. And I don't want anybody else's door and I, I don't want to do that. So I pray that we will continue to look for, for through discernment, through prayer, through meditation, the path that God has for us, not the path that we want for ourselves. Sometimes we're mad because God is not giving us our desired path instead of saying, God, show me your will. Let me align with your will. Let me connect to your will and let me stay on task, not to get discouraged, distracted, or be defeated when this journey seems long, when this journey gets burdensome, but I know that that wherever God wants me to be, I'm going to be on path with that. And I think it's so important for us to understand purpose, to do not force your way into a locked door. God is trying to prevent you something from something. You say, I know scary movies, uh, you know, somebody goes stay to the house and they'll say, you can go in every room but that room. And what's the first thing the person does when everybody goes to bed? They go peek in the room that they told them not to go into. And that's just how we are in life. But uh, I thankful that you joined today and I hope you can find encouragement in this and hope and perspective and share this message with someone else and we look forward to seeing you right here next time. Please subscribe on YouTube to four more minutes. Thank you. God bless.